games. Any I'm... recommendations? I don't know. Uh, it's so tough. I don't even know what they're gonna announce for a Smash character. I don't even know. I don't even know what to expect. Erdrick, they they. I will be so surprised if they don't ha release a Dragon Quest character because it's kind of like Japan. Dragon Quest is so huge, popular, and for yeah. whatever, it's, it's so popular. They're even coming out with like the, like the mobile app game, yeah. which I really want to get. I hope they release it. Um, Dragon Quest is a fantastic series, and I don't know why it's not as popular in, in the U.S. But Japan, that's like the main, like that's the game over there, and I'll be so surprised if they yeah. don't. and it's crazy them. because a lot of people have, like shocked. curiously have wanted Goku in Smash, but Akira Toriyama, <laughs> the creator of Dragon Ball Z, his art style is in Dragon, it's Dragon Quest. Quest. Yeah, yeah, it's so. the same creator, exactly. So in a sense, you kind of get Goku in the you, Smash. You get best of both worlds, well, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, no, I, that's what I'm saying. The art is fantastic, and honestly. It's I'm excited. I am so excited to get more DLC characters. And uh, you know what? Actually, right now, we get to see an Incineroar, which is actually another super fun character. He's slow, but he's strong. He has great options, and his aerials are actually great to his Nair. Yeah. That Nair's great. I, I love, 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 love watching Incineroars. I know I can't really be biased as a commentary, but they're fun. And yeah, we got a Ness on the stage as well. Ness is also another great uh, character. And it was a nice air dodge up to the platform there. Nice. Also oh, gets caught by the PK Fire, but he's able to escape, got caught by the tail. And oh. that might be a shield break. That almost, yeah, that would have broke. If all of the hits connected, that would have broke the shield. There's one more hit away from breaking the yep. shield. One more. Yeah, but also Ness is like, this matchup does look a little hard uh, for Incinero, not only because of PK Fire and uh, the projectiles he has. Ness is very fast and he has those fast aerial options, uh, which can beat um, Incinero's. Okay, F tilt. F yeah, F tilt, super powerful. Definitely even here though. <laughs> yeah, went back to Pokemon <laughs> Stadium as well as stage. Good it's, up there. It's a great stage, but yeah, everyone definitely likes to start. It's become the new classic, you know, back in Smash 4. Smashville. Everybody, everybody loves Smash 4. Uh -huh. Even some Brawl. Uh, but now Pokemon Stadium 2, kind of a fan favorite stage from the melee. Finally made it to pre Actually, it came out in Brawl originally, but it's still a fan favorite stage, and people are really happy to see it become a tournament leader stage. Take it. And he definitely took it. That's going to be the. Oh my god, he oh, takes this one from Just test. throws it out. Back air. Wow. You have to watch out for the Angel platform because it does give you invincibility to come back. Yeah, and you have that invincibility. How long is the invincibility when you respawn? Like uh, five? I, th I think it's like about two seconds, roughly. Oh, two seconds. That was like four or five seconds. Two is a lot quicker than I thought, but yeah, definitely just going to take that advantage of it. Throw that back air out. Nice, Ooh. good. He didn't even get a tech chase. He just uses the PK fire to do da oh, a little bit more damage. It was so awkward. <laughs> but it was like still getting hit by the, the PK fire, but it didn't matter because he just had like the super armor. Yes. Oh, okay. He's going to go for that forward air. He kind of got cats going for the PK fire. And of course, like I mentioned it, you do have a little bit of m from going from a little bit of startup. Okay, good Nair out of shield there. Definitely a really safe option um, for Incineroars. Yeah, he's gonna keep on throwing out these aerial options in there. Nice, lining up there. Cat's gonna a little bit of breather here at the ledge. Mega has to watch himself. A back air or a neutral air, and I mentioned the back yeah. air. That's gonna be the one the thing to take it. Yeah. He's definitely um, catching Mega's jumping, it's jumping a lot with Incineroar, so he's yeah, safely just throwing out this uh, back air um, and angling it to the right, so that way he's not okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's Yeah, he's being really safe with his aerials, and he's Mega just needs to slow down a little bit more, I think, and um, wait for Cats to approach. He's kind of yeah. chasing him down. It's kind of good for Mega to understand, though, if I give Cats the time and opportunity to start landing the things that Ness likes to go for, right? PK Fire, the disjointed forward air, PK Thunder. He might actually catch me oh. off guard just like that. You have to watch out and use the directional air dodge to get a, get a slightly good drift. Up B has a little bit of intangibility that allows you to survive. Yeah, and that yo-yo at the ledge was actually terrifying. I'm surprised that didn't connect. That was a great job of Mega to get out of that situation. And on it, it's so, this is last hit situation. This is very scary. Dutrupy does have a lot of end lag, so that was a risky option coming out from Mega there. Nice, he has to go for that low recovery oh, and no tech. No. I don't think he knew that was going to put him in a teching situation yeah. at all. And I actually couldn't see the red flash or the green flash. The red flash does indicate an untechable, and mm -hmm. the green flash means it was techable. Yeah, I, yeah that, that looked like it was a tech techable situation there. Um, but yeah, that was, I mean, really close, bottom line. Mm -hmm. Really close game.
And uh, what stage did they just choose? I'm sorry. I look away I for like one second. And okay. Well, we'll be coming out here to Smashville. Still another classic stage. I'm not gonna lie. People still actually like it. It's still it's a great stage. It's just a little small. Yeah. So I feel like some people haven't really gotten used to it. Uh, I tell people like this is actually better Yoshi's Island. <laughs> oh Yoshi's, yes. Yeah. Yes. Way better than Yoshi's Island. That yeah. Is they're sure. the same, but this one's the better version, obviously. All right. That was a good uh, roll read to nair out a shield there. Mm -hmm. Oof. I do like the fact that Mega is trying to go for another up air on the platform. Some of Incineroar's feet do have intense ability. And up air is a really good opportunity to just juggle your opponents. He has down throw up air and down throw forward that he can use. Yeah, actually, uh, Incineroar. Oof, that was weird. He, he definitely could do some um, up air strings as well. Mm -hmm. They you can go for an air. That. Yeah, I was just like, you go for up air strings and then you can also connect the side B to catch your opponent. <laughs> Dash attack, too, almost killing. Crazy how much uh, kill power Back throw. has. And Still. that move as well. Still super strong. Just in Smash 4 as well. Yeah, both characters actually have such a great back throw. Yeah, honestly. What is it called? The um, Incinera's back throw. Um, it's not the Lari. It's, it's, it's no, uh, it, it's. Um, I can't even remember. Uh, I want it. It's, it's a like suplex. On the it's a yeah, suplex. Yeah, like, there's an actual name in Pokemon. I know. I want to. It. It's like right there when I'm brain farting. I always tend to brain like far off stream, and then literally at one point in the day, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what it was <laughs> like, all the time. Um, but yeah. Seismic toss. Okay. Size, yeah. yeah. I think it's Wait, no, really that's weird. the one. No, that's the one where he throw he he twirls you. Yeah, you're right. That's yeah. seismic toss. That's his. Um, my Pokemon. See, it's funny. I remember all the Pokemon forward in general, but sometimes the move names is what gets me. All right, and actually, I don't know if he meant to like mistime that purposely because when you do mistime um, that move, it throws you more uh, vertically. Mm -hmm. The it's long distance is higher. So I mentioned earlier, like in Sonora, can do with up airs. He can throw. He can get that if you read your directional air dodge or just your air dodge in general, mm -hmm. and then kill you at really early percent. Back throw. It's not gonna do it. Cat's looking to get for a quarter. I do like the fact that he sees Mega's trying to survive there. Back oh. throw at the ledge. Not gonna do it. It's gonna be yeah. It's a little staled out to at this mm -hmm. point. Stale moves. Well. Oh, okay. Was that a nair? Oh, nice I like that down tilt. That was nice. You can do down tilt to neutral B, which will all, which is uh, darkest layer at, and you can actually kill your opponents that way as well. Good directional air dodge. I'm sorry, good spot dodge, and a good layer at to actually finish that one off. Darkest layer at mm -hmm. neutral B, you said. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, it's it's always really cool seeing how the down tilt will connect at the ledge there, and especially off of. Um, the recovery from Ness there. Mm -hmm. That was, I've never seen that, so that was cool. But here we go, we got with those up air juggles. Um, and Mega's definitely gonna utilize that platform, just like we were seeing Cat do, Cat do it earlier. Oh gosh, yeah, that back throw is definitely gonna take it there. Um, but yeah, this is a scary situation that almost killed at 70%. Probably would have killed the Mega had a little bit more rage there. Yeah, um, and not only that, if he had actually revenge, wow. if he had that stacked up, it definitely would have finished the stock there. Cinderor, calm yourself, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, and yeah, he's definitely gonna want to do the short hop, uh, space these back airs here, and close out that stock. Super strong. And move the thing about Incineroar there. too is that he's kind of one of the slowest characters in the game, so he kind of has that to there we go. That holds him back. That, that was Seismic Toss. Yeah, right Seismic Toss is the fourth throw. Good up air. Able to catch him going for the aerial and he gets the backer at the edge. Mega takes off his headphones with a sigh of relief. <laughs> I like to, like when Incineroar gets like a stock, when he mm -hmm. takes a stock, he kind of does this like, like his little. Oh, yeah, he always like, yeah, has a yeah. taunt like himself. Like, it's just like, what? That's what made me so happy when they, <laughs> they chose to add Incineroar into the game. They kind of had him like this new style that hadn't been seen in a fighting game for a little yeah, while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mentioned it earlier in Doublers. It's kind of like El Fuerte from Street Fighter 4. He has like that, a little bit of El Fuerte in him, but it's so unique to Smash because it's an actual grappler wrestler. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I wish they would just buff him a little bit with his speed, and he mm -hmm. would be a fantastic character. He's he's strong, and he has a lot of great options, but his recovery and then his speed is just what really kills it for a lot of people. But nevertheless, he's a great uh, character in this game. Really cool Pokemon. Sometimes I feel like the balance with Incineroar is pretty even. Like, if this character has some ridiculous speed, oh my god, I'd it be so It doesn't even have to be ridiculous speed. It's just a little bit of a speed buff. Yeah. 
you know. He's he, one of the slowest runners in the game. They did buff his jab, though, this patch, which is great because his last jab hit was terrible, and it hardly ever connected. A lot of characters fell out of it. Yeah. So that was uh, not only did they buff most of the characters' jabs in this game, that was a big thing for Incineroar as well because he did oh, that. No. Oh, no. That was unfortunate SD there. He definitely could have made it back to the stage. Um, I would have loved to have seen if Mega gone for the side B. That's something you can do as Incineroar. You oh, yeah. the side of the Mega off to recover. Okay, here we go to that ledge trapping situation again. Kind of a little, that option was a little weird. Mm -hmm. Don't know what he was going for there. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, that's oh. a really good opportunity. Oh, no, and such a tough trade. No, Mega, that did? wasn't worth it. It was, okay, so Mega was trying to set up those back airs to condition Cats to hold shield against them, and then he went for the side B because he had him in shield enough time to go for that for the close yeah. line. But unfortunately, like, Cats sensed that out, and he got the back air, and he just made his edge guard instead. Yeah. It was it was definitely a good try. I was just like, man, that trade though. Is definitely what? Wait, 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 wait. Why did that send him back <laughs> so much? <laughs> I like what he's doing. Here. He's playing around. Uh, okay, a forward throw. Yeah, definitely doesn't want to stale out his back throw. Uh, nice, good parry. No follow up after the parry though. Uh, but honestly, this situation. Uh, feeding Incineroar, he has 89%, a little bit of rage here. It's still doable for Mega. Incineroar is definitely a comeback character. Oh, yeah. applies tons of pressure. Uh, okay, he's back. off stage. <laughs> I was going to say, good stuff for Mega to actually adapt a little bit, wait for the recovery, because he really got hit by that forward air. Would have definitely been hurt. At this point, he's doing a really good job of just trying to switch it up with Cats. Delays the forward air so he can go around Cats' aerials. Yeah, here we go with an air out of shield again, too. Already racking it up to 67%. That was a little scary going for the side B option there uh, because that back air almost connected <laughs> from oh, this. Oh, no. That back throw won't throw it, yeah. I would have, it still sets him off the stage, allows Lion for Cats to go for an edge guard. Yeah, especially on town, too. Uh, this stage is pretty big, so that's not going to kill on glitch. Uh, oh, yeah. no. He, I, f I felt like he wasted his jump, and that's what ended up happening. Usually some, some incineroars like to go for a jump, then a side B, then an up B. Side B gives you a little bit of more horizontal movement to yeah, make sure yeah. you come back on the stage. 